briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1988 case, Crouchman v. Superior Court, a historical precedent was brought into question, setting a defining verdict on cases tried in small claims courts. At the core of the dispute was whether an appeal from a small claims court judgment granted the defendant the right to a trial by jury. The case unfolded after a landlord sued the defendant for financial damages related to a rental agreement and subsequently won $1,500 plus costs in a small claims court. Dissatisfied with the outcome, the defendant appealed to a superior court, hoping for a fresh trial and insisting on having a jury present. This request, however, was rejected. The defendant continued to challenge the denial, petitioning for a writ of mandate at the Court of Appeal, but again, the plea was denied. The court reinforced previously set guidelines stating that small claims courts were designed to resolve disputes involving smaller sums of money expediently and without necessarily invoking the right to a jury trial. Then the Supreme Court of California stepped in. After an examination of the merits, the court aligned with the lower courts and ruled that the defendant did not have the constitutional or statutory right to a jury trial in an appeal from a small claims judgment. It stated that no historical basis supported this right within the specific context of small claims court appeals. The appeal court's decision to deny writ of mandate thus stood affirmed, creating a clear standard for similar lawsuits in the future. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.